FIFA 23 is just around the corner guys and in today's episode we are going to talk about some big game changes that you can buy day one and make a difference. This video is sponsored by Outplate. I just want to present to you Outplate, the ultimate video capturing app for gamers. It's never been so easy before to record your best FIFA 22 moments and share them with friends or even upload them on YouTube. Follow the link in the description to download Outplate. It only takes a second. Install the app on your PC, run it in the background and start FIFA 22. Play games, open packs, complete SBCs, score goals and when you finish your gaming session and close FIFA 22, the Outplate app will automatically pop up on your screen so you can save your best moments. Moreover, you can create a clip of your best goals and packs. You can create as many clips of your gaming session as you want and of course, you can share the best goals and packs with your friends or even upload the clips on YouTube. We'll drop a link to that amazing app in the description down below so make sure to Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to kick things off with Renato Sanchez, 80 rated, 83 pace, 74 shooting, I know, but it's more than enough. Super box to box midfielder that you guys can use in the first week of the game release. And not only the first week, by the way. 80 rated Renato Sanchez, in my opinion, will be usable till December, maybe even until the team of the event in FIFA 23. 4-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot. Also, you can use him as a right midfielder before minute 1 on full chemistry, yes. On full chemistry, guys, and his in-game stats are more than amazing. Also, I forgot to mention high, high work rates. Dribbling 80 plus everywhere, guys. Defending stats, you can boost the defending stats by applying a shadow. Also, it will boost the pace and the physical stats. 86 stamina is more than enough for a box-to-box -box midfielder. Bro, for an 80 rated card, he looks absolutely fantastic. And guys, let me tell you something. Renato Sanchez is probably at a similar, similar level to KDB. Yes, KDB, guys. I know KDB is 90 plus rated or something like that. I forgot. I don't care. Renato Sanchez is from another planet. There is something special regarding Renato Sanchez and that's a player that will surely make a difference. So this is my option number one if you guys don't know who you can buy day one so you can use in the long run. Don't, please don't invest your coins in players that you are going to sell in one, two days. You're gonna lose coins and in the first week of the game release, trust me, you only want to make profit. You don't want to concede losses. Option number two that I want to present to you is a center back that you can buy day one and build a squad around him with 87 pace. Do you guys realize what it means? 87 pace, bro. 77 rated Lacroix French. Easy links because he's French. Two star skill modes and two star weak foot. Also, he's going to be cheap because he's only 77 rated and he is from the Bundesliga. For example, if he was from the Premier League, his price would have been like plus 30k or so. Look at his in-game stats. You don't even need to apply a shadow, by the way. You can go with an anchor or another cam style car to boost his physical stats and defending stats. Actually, guys, you can you can actually go with. Yeah, you can actually go with. Let me find it. Um, I'm talking about Sentinel. I was talking about Sentinel. You don't even need to boost his pace. Day one. Boost his defending stats and physical stats. I don't think that he's gonna cost more than 20k in the first few days of the game release. Maybe even 10k, 15k, something like that. But that's a player that you can use at least for one, two months, even three months. Because he's got 87 pace. Now, let's talk about the Brazilian beast on the wing. David Neres. The good thing about David Neres is, first of all, he's got 5-star skill moves, 3-star weak foot, left-footed guys, but he's got left-winger position, right-winger position, cam and right midfielder position that you guys can position him before minute 1 and play him on full chemistry. That's an incredible, big, 
big game changer, guys. Acceleration 86, Sprint Speed 85, slap him a, a hunter to boost his pace and finishing stats and bank. You guys are going to have a deadly striker because, yes, you can actually use David Neres at the striker position after minute one to score goals. And guess what? Considering the fact that he's from Liganos, below 80 rated, I don't think that David Neres will cost more than 10k in the first seven days of the game release. Also, another big advantage of buying David Neres, day one, day two. We've got so many OP Liganos cars that you guys can buy, and actually you can build a Liganos squad within 20, 30k budget, and you are going to have an incredible team that can easily beat Premier League expensive squads. Talking about low ready cards and Portuguese players, number four, if I'm not mistaken, that I wanna present to you is Martin77 rated right midfielder, but also guess what? You guys can use him as a left midfielder and right winger before minute one. He's got 91 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, guys. League one, four star skill levels, three star weak foot, high, high work rates. His finishing is not the best, I know, but you can you can go and buy a Hunter to boost his pace and finishing, or you can simply focus on the finishing, guys. You don't even need to, to boost his pace day one because 90 pace is more than enough. So you guys can focus on the finishing, sniper, finisher, or something like that to increase, increase, increase his shooting as much as possible. In my opinion, he's gonna cost up to 10k, in the first week of the game release and also he's usable at the striker position on the left wing on the right wing camp position so many different options and he's portuguese guys easy to link him up with so many cheap op cards once again you guys can link him up with portuguese players from liganos as i mentioned a few minutes ago they are going to be extremely cheap compared to bundesliga premier league Serie A and so on. Now let's talk about the player 80 plus rated, 82 to be more specific guys, once again Portuguese, Rafa Liganos, right midfielder, right winger and CF, those are the positions that you can use him at, before minute one to play him on full chemistry, 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, high medium work rates, I doubt his price will be over 10k because he's from Liganos, Base 91, finishing 74, once again. The same thing applies to Rafa, guys. Don't boost the pace, focus on the shooting stats. The pace is more than enough, and Rafa is gonna be an incredible addition to your starter squad in the first week of the game release. Not the game release, Crossy, even on the web app. When you guys don't have coins to buy, for example, let's say more expensive strikers, let's say Rashford? Because Rashford is gonna cost, let's say, 400,000 coins, maybe even more. Ben Yedder is gonna be extremely, extremely overpriced as well. So Rafa is an incredible cheap option to make a difference at the striker position. The next player, guys, that I wanna talk about is Mullen, below 80 rated once again, 79. You guys can use him at the striker position, CF or left midfielder before minute one and keep him on full chemistry. He's got 4 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot, 90 acceleration and 86 sprint speed. Also his finishing is superb, 79 considering his rating 79, 79 finishing is more than incredible. 78 stamina, decent dribbling stats, 80 plus everywhere except compo composure, 77 guys, medium medium work rates and also I don't think that he's gonna cost more than 10k, he's from the Bundesliga below 80 rated and that's a fantastic opportunity for you guys to get Malen. Also, one more reason that you should go with Malen in your starter squad, guys. Dutch, you can go with Eredivisie. There are plenty of incredible cheap options from the Eredivisie Dutch players, which means that you can play everyone on full chemistry. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been showing you players from the Netherlands, from Portugal, from France, players that you can easily link up with 
so many different cards from any championship. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's talk about Gravenberg. Oh my goodness, guys, his FIFA 22 card, the last one moments or something like that. It was sensational. Anyways, 79 rated, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. An absolute beast. Physical stats superb, tall, big, strong, powerful. Box to box midfielder, that's exactly what you guys need to destroy opponents' counterattacks from the Bundesliga. Once again, Dutch under 80 rated. So, in my opinion, guys, he won't be very expensive, let's say 10k, maybe even 15,000 coins. But, guys, you pay 15k, let's say 15k, and you can use Gravon Burke in the first month, in the second month, even in the third month of the game release. Also, he's Dutch. Once again, easy to link him up with some Eredivisie cards, cheap ones that you can buy that one to build your starter squad. So overall, I love that Gravenberg card and I'm pretty sure that he's going to perform miracles on the field. That's Renato Sanchez number two. Now let's talk about one of my favorite, favorite, favorite players to use every year at the game release. Inaki Williams, 89, 81 rated guys, CF is his secondary position, the first one is striker, 4 star skill moves and 2 star weak foot. I know the weak foot is not that great, but on the other hand he's got 93 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. Also guys, it's, it's the first week of the game release. Do you guys really expect to get foot birthday Inaki Williams with 5 star weak foot or something like that? Of course not! So, you guys can buy Inaki Williams in my opinion. He's gonna cost up to 25k, maybe 30k because of the pace. But guys, you don't you don't need to use game style card that will additionally boost the pace. You guys can go with sniper finisher to boost his shooting stats and make him a deadly finisher in front of the opponent's goal. Also, he's got 87 stamina, which is more than incredible. He can play 90 minutes non-stop running all over the field without getting tired. Overall, the card is superb. I know the balance is 62, but guys, we talk about cheap starter squad options right now. Of course, you guys cannot expect Inaki Williams to have 90 plus stats everywhere on the field. Of course, some of the stats will be down, some of the stats will be up, but overall, that's a great option for you in the first 3-4 weekend leagues to use at the striker position. So ladies and gentlemen, now let's talk about Timo Werner. 82, Bundesliga. Let's freaking go, boys. 93 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 3-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot, OP card, high medium work rates, 78 finishing, guys. So you can boost the pace and also the finishing or just the finishing in the first one, two weeks of the game release. Overall, he's an incredible, incredible card. Now from the Bundesliga, which means that he, he will be down in price compared to his Premier League cards from the previous years, guys. And that's a great opportunity for you to get him in your starter squads. Day 1, day 2, day 3, depending on when you guys manage to make 20k, because in my opinion, that's the price you need, you need to pay for Timo Werner around 20k, maybe 25k. It's difficult for me to tell you now his price because he's no longer from the Premier League and you guys know that the Premier League is the most expensive championship to use in FIFA 20 in any FIFA edition guys and the Bundesliga has always been a cheap option last but not least I want to mention Bergwijn guys right winger left midfielder left winger different positions that you guys can use him at before minute one on full chemistry Four star skill modes, two star weak foot, 80 rated, 87 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, 76 finishing, guys, 72 stamina. But trust me, if you guys apply some certain game style cards to him, you can boost the shooting, the pace, and also he's got incredible dribbling stats. Considering the fact that he's only 80 rated, once again, uh, I, I present to you a Dutch player, this time from Eri Divisi, easy easy to link him up with so many options all over the field and guys i don't think that he's gonna cost more than 10k yeah up to 10k maximum 15k guys 
I doubt he's gonna cost more than 15k and he's gonna be superb to use at least in the first 20-30 days of the game release. Actually, usable in the champions without any hesitation. So guys, in today's episode we talked about Templars that in my opinion you should buy in your starter squads. Of course, you won't be able to buy every single one of them guys because if you buy all of them you will need like 200k or something like that and you won't be able to gather 200,000 coins in the first days of the game release. So buy one or two players out of the 10 that I, I just presented to you guys so you can make a difference in the upcoming Division Rivals and Foot Champions tournament. So, because guys, the players that I just presented to you are usable in the first 30 days, 40, 50 days of the game release. You don't need to buy them today, sell, sell them in 3 days, lose coins on tax and so on. Those are trusted cards that you will be able to use in the long run and also they will make a difference for you. But anyways guys, this is gonna be the end of today's FIFA 23 video. Don't forget that tomorrow the web app is coming out. Yes, let's go. And your boy Krasi is going to show his amazing trading skills. I'll do my best to make some coins on the web app. I've got a few days to play the game on the web app. Complete the SBCs, make coins and build one of the teams that I presented to you in the previous episode including one or more of the players that I just presented to you in today's episode. Thank you all for watching. Let's go over 500 likes. It will be massively appreciated and your boy Krasi will catch you later. Bye-bye.